ladies and gentlemen, that line at Walmart is no joke. All right, guys, I missed last week, um, you know, because I went to go get milk and there was no, you know, I, I decided to come back after all. But uh, we got a day chock full of activities today. So uh, we're gonna go to the gym. It's like 4.50 right now. So it's a little later than usual, but uh, let's go get this fucking cheese bread. All right, guys, we've made it to the gym. We're doing a little back and shoulders today. We've also spotted an attractive female. So we're gonna go and hit on her and see if we can bag the number. Hey, if I need more reps than you, can I get your number? Maybe. Okay. How many reps? Just go until you stop. Okay. Now I'm caught up on the other side Homie was broken Puts pain up in my mama's eyes Now that I'm chosen So they want me but she's not my tie Okay, I'll take this video now Alright guys, we're here with my friend Haley We just picked her up at the gym She's gonna go through a little shoulder circuit with us um, We're gonna put her through the works And uh, we finally got a female on the vlog So, let's go That I'm saying your boy your girl on my end, she said that you act like a boy I pick him apart like a break down the bud You dropping, you dropping, you dropping the dud This shit getting easy, this shit getting fun Now this shit to the stud, now stuck Pulling away like a strap to a truck Calling it safe, only give it to trust We only fucking if she making me buzz Like Moses, I'm part on the ties They look in my way and they wishing the minds They couldn't compare to the flame in my eyes Couldn't walk in my boots if you tried On the boat, on the coast, that's a lie I got foes on the toes who could try Just look at the sky cause I'm so above them Ain't no pain and there ain't no growing Play the game, look I'm dead pros And I play my hand till I let them all in from everything is funny cause I only got this money on my mind Shawty tell me she in love with me but I think that it's suddenly So I just gotta tell her that she really ain't my type And I'm tryna live trouble free so I just keep my son with me But I still got the homies asking what you want tonight My family y'all gave up on me, for me that was the toughest thing And I just tell them everything is gonna be alright Crazy but it's my life and I love it but sometimes I just say Alright guys, well that wraps up the workout Um I mean, we totally didn't film like most of that, to be honest with you guys, but uh, whatever. Haley, what, what did you think of the workout? Um, I think it was pretty difficult. I obviously don't work my upper body as much as I thought I did. There you have it. <laughs> Let's get ready for the day and attack it. Alrighty, guys, we have pulled up to the parking lot and there's literally not anybody here. Got the whole strip. That's crazy. We're going to get a little uh, head start on the paperwork for the day. And then uh, do some fun stuff. All right, guys, we have finished up the paperwork. I dropped my truck off to get an alignment, but we are still running our appointments. So we're gonna pick up some breakfast for the ladies at the office. Um, but first, we're bringing some donuts to a agent here in town. They have taken care of us, so we're going to take care of them. Um, yeah, so we'll see how that goes. Hi, Eb. How we doing? Good, how are you guys? Good, good. I just uh, bring goodies for all of you. Hey, yep. we always like goodies. Yes, is Lindsay around? <laughs> yeah. She is. Okay. Seriously. Hey, guys, how are you? Hey, hey good, everybody. good. Oh, you have donuts. Yes, we did. You're so good to Yes, us. I know. You're well, so good to I us. wanted to come in and tell you that we were able to get um, Carrie approved. Oh, um, thank so God. we're moving forward. She's happy. I'm going to help her out good job. get everything done. Just as a token of appreciation, I wanted thank to get you, you guys you donuts. Are so so. Kind. We appreciate you a lot. Yeah, and definitely. And we've been talking to people about you too because, like, just I think just being like available to see what you could do and like yeah. online, like Facebook and the videos, and yeah, people exactly. like to see that yeah. interaction, especially today. Yeah, like seriously. You know, so I like it. Speaking of which, our film guy is in town. I actually wanted to see if you were open to yeah. doing sort of like a testimonial slash yeah. promo yeah. for your business. Yes. Well, uh, would the afternoon or this yeah, morning, here, whatever. let's look at mine. Well, last weekend, I was a, thank you, thank you. I, we were talking about like that. Yes. Feels like it's a vibe. Yes, yeah, it's a straight vibe. Like yeah. that. Two thirty-three, three thirty around here. Yes, there. that, I don't know that if that's possible yeah, for we'll, you guys. Well, let's shoot for three. Three. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna put that on here real quick. The three o'clock should be good. Perfect. Just let me know. Alrighty. I think that should work just fine. Awesome. Yep, and we can whatever. Just yeah. Come back here. Or chat we'll, we'll, we'll wing it. We improvise yeah, everything. Totally so. fine with that. All, most of <laughs> our videos are just winging it. Yeah. <laughs> but that's good. Yeah. That's yeah. good. People like to see that. Yeah. They like to be candid. You know, Absolutely. Yeah. No, yeah. You guys, I didn't really know what to get, so I just kind of got like a melody. Yeah. Random stuff. Donuts are never. You can never go wrong with donuts. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 Appreciate it a lot. No, yeah, yeah absolutely. Thank you guys. 
Good day. Good day. All right, guys, we're back at the office here. A little known fact, you know, on Cookie Clicker, you can actually change the thing to your scroll wheel so you get mad fucking clicks per second. Now, I know a lot of you are wondering, how does Missouri outsell Colorado each and every month? Just like this. We click cookies and, and girls ask us, too, how we get so good at, you know, the... Like I said, we click cookies. It's the answer for everything. So. And we believe that it's important for the felt to be just as quality as the shingle that's on the roof. <laughs> All right, guys, we're behind the scenes now. We are filming some action for the Soderbergh page. Go check us out on Facebook. Leo here. Today, we are bringing you through another episode of More Enthusiasm. More Enthusiasm. All the way down, dude. Fuck. Lock out, lock out. All right. What's up, Soderbergh Nation? Leo here coming out to you with another episode of Lunch and Learn. Watching who? Wow. I was going so good, Tim. That sucks. Rip. What's up, Soderbergh Nation? Leo here coming at you with another episode of Lunch and Learn. Today, we are taking you through the quality products that we put on your roof to make it a quality one. Did I say quality products? What's up, Soderbergh Nation? Leo here coming at you with another episode of Lunch and Learn. Today, we are showcasing the amazing products that we put on your roof to make it a quality one. Starting off, we have ice and water shield. This prevents ice damage from penetrating your roof during the grueling winter months we get here in Missouri. A few moments later. Anything for the shop. Anybody got a bucket? Gotta take a shit. Here, um, Pavi, you want to get that trash can and then just like take the bag off? Okay. Why do you need the fucking... That's just answer the ad on Craigslist, man. It seemed like a great gig. <laughs> so right there, start pouring. So, yeah, as soon I'm going to go... I'm going to go... And so as soon as I whip it up, like the whole thing... Sprinkle not it. at once, yeah. Sprinkle. Yeah. Salty, yeah, bro. Yeah, salty. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I know. That's what I was thinking. The sprinkler. Just, just like we need more than that. Nah, like, salty, yeah. bro. So just fucking saute that shit. Saute that shit. I'm going to saute it. I'm going to saute it. A little shimmy. Yeah. So far, we're on take 12. Take 12, yep. Um, we had some sales guys come in, so we're gonna fuck with them. <laughs> she has good business? Kind of. We got business card. <laughs> Wait, real quick. Yeah. Sell me this pen. <laughs> Um, so, can you write your name down? Uh, <laughs> for what? I just need your name. What do you need my name for? I would just like, I would just like to know your name. Okay, my name's Leo. <laughs> can, you, can you write that down for me? I don't know, I, that's against my religion, actually. Ah, I guess I can't sell you this pen, you don't want the pen. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice, nice. I appreciate it, guys. Nice you too. Yeah. Hey guys, Leo here of Soderberg Roofing and Contracting. Today we're here at our local office in Missouri and we're gonna take you through another episode of Lunch and Learn. Now, we're gonna be talking about the Owens Corning product today. The cool thing about them is they've been in business for 86 years. Their technology is used in various applications such as Navy vessels and new cars. More importantly, they're used in every single shingle manufactured in the US. So let's show you two of our favorite products by them. I know. It looks <laughs> I know. I know. I was like, please, please, no! I was literally thinking, like, please, fuck God. Okay, go oh, cut that. I didn't record it. Oh, no! God, like... I got you. I got you. Oh my God. <laughs> For a quality product and a superior contractor that's gonna care about your home, call us today. You should say for a quality. <clears throat> For a superior <sighs> line. Hey, you're supposed to be learning your lines. What the fuck, man? Hey, I don't need this shit. I went through years of acting school. I'm out of here. Oh, it's so hard to find good help these days. Am I good? Uh, one sec. It's constructing. And it's not on. <laughs> <laughs> Unreal. Get those questions. What do you want? This might take like just right there. So okay. No, no, that's okay. Like okay. all my any films that I've ever posted on Facebook have taken about twenty takes. Yeah. So yeah. just uh, be natural, Leo, and just introduce you and introduce her. And then yep. Hey guys, Leo here, Soderbergh Roofing and Contracting. We're here with Chelsea Lee with Action Realty Co. and we're here with Chelsea Lee. And we're here to do. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> all right. 
So I like to surround myself with people who have that same kind of um, quality. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for your time today, Chelsea. And this has been another episode of uh, Lunch and Learn. Thank you for having me. Perfect. That was good. Wow. Just keep that one. Oh my God. That's <laughs> amazing. One take, huh? One take Chelsea. Yes. Holy crap. <laughs> All right, guys, it is the next day. As you can tell from my uh, change of clothes, we are here on our roof doing an inspection on Lake of the Ozarks. Beautiful location. You got a really like crazy hotel back there. Um, came up here to help out the homeowner. There hasn't been much damage really. So I'm gonna advise that the homeowner holds off on filing a claim. But the views here are sick, so uh, check out the cinematic montage. Damn, where you get this at? New sides, new heights, I've been up in my zone for a minute. Catching new flights, new eyes, she came twice and I ain't even finished. I got new ties, new life, but this liquor killing my liver. I told her two times, love's eyes, now she lay low, she shiver. Shorty said I'm too cold, but ain't no changing who I am. Yeah, I won't fold on my bros, and I know what I know, and I know this ain't the end. Yeah, I'm a yacht to your boat, and I float on the coast, and I load it off the deck. They wanna know what I'm really about. I told them, watch me and figure it out. Not enough time in the day, that's why I'm losing sleep And you can give your take, but we gonna ignore your speech Shorty messing up my brains, cause you know I'm hitting deep And when I be on the road, she's sending pictures, she a tease I pick up the weight cause it's never too heavy I look in the face and I see all the envy she Tomorrow Alright guys, since um, this vlog was pretty boring I'm going to now do an installment of cooking with Leo Today we got burritos um, we're basically making them from scratch. Well, I mean, I just like handmade flour tortillas. To make handmade or to make a handmade flour tortillas, you need this. And what this is is a ball of dough. And to get a ball of dough, you put three cups of flour in a bowl. Do one or two teaspoons of this, a teaspoon of salt, a third cup of shortening, and then you mix it all together. Add a cup of water. And then eventually, after mixing it, you're going to get something that looks like this. And then you have to beat it around for like 10 minutes. And yeah, of course I wash my fucking hands, Avi. And, and yeah, I mean, I think this is called kneading it. For 10 minutes, I'm just going to be kneading this hoe. Yep. Pent up aggression. <laughs> I know some of you got shivers by saying that. What's up? DMs are open. <laughs> so yeah, I will be back as soon as we got this kneaded up. All right, so next what you're gonna do is you're gonna roll this hole out to about 12 feet. Um, I mean 12 inches of one foot. And then you're gonna grab little, just hand and palm size little balls of dough. Um, let, let the dough rest. That's what we're doing right now. It's kind of, I mean, your first time, you just gotta, honestly, you just have to wing it. You just have to be like, yep, this is probably good. And then throw it and hope for the best. But as you like get more experience and you kind of know like this much dough is gonna make this type of looking tortilla, you know, this much dough is gonna make this type of looking tortilla. You can kind of refine how big you like actually want it. Like this one might be a nice little whopper. This next one is just gonna be a modest sized one, but I'm gonna save the whoppers for myself, you know, some like strategy. Alrighty, ladies and gents, now that we have got our 12 balls and you put your moist paper towel over these hose and let it sit for 10 minutes so we will be back in 10 minutes. Alright guys, now that the dough has rested, we are going to set the paper towel aside and I put my flour up like an idiot. We're going to give some love to our workspace. To the side and now we're going to make sure it's one rounded hoe bust out the handy dandy rolling pin and give it a roll on one side give it a roll on the other side and your first tortilla is never going to uh, come out round i guarantee you that if it does come out round you sold your soul to the devil i don't care what you say but it's about like the third one or so where they start coming out real nice and round 
Don't know why, it's just, it's one of those weird nature things. It's like, why does, why does the wind blow, you know? Nobody knows. Pulled some out and we're just kind of letting them rest. I like to do the perimeter just so we can hit these back to back to back. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to lay this on and I felt it, make sure it's nice and hot um, before like it, it should sting after putting it, like put your hand on it for like a second. Medium heat, you wanna make sure that this is cooking all the way through. Give it a nice press all the way around on the first one. Um, and now we just kind of wait for it to start bubbling. And it'll bubble, but it takes a, it takes a little bit. So This is basically what you want right there. Now, onions that look like that. So, I mean, I just do one sleeve. You can do more if you like onions. I don't, you know, it's whatever. It just, it's a little flavor. We're making the beans now, in case you wanted to know. So what we're gonna do, I just want to make our olive oil. And just put that nice right there. Smear it around, give it a little bit of heat. Not too much, just enough to warm it up. And then we're just going to dump the onions on there. So it gets a nice little saute. And then what I'm gonna do, and some of you might think of me as Satan himself for doing this, but it's okay. So come in here. We've made our beans already. If you need a bean, how-to tutorial, comment below. And we're gonna put some beans in there. We'll make a lot. We're gonna make about two cups or 16 milliliters worth of beans. Don't know why I chose that measurement, to be honest with you. One day I literally just chose it, and uh, yeah. What kind of sound effect did you wanna hear while I uh, do this? I'm sure I'll think of something funny. So now that we have that, we are going to turn up the heat because I have not heard these start sizzling yet. Exactly. Next, we want to prepare the chorizo because we're going to be cooking the chorizo here shortly. So what I'm going to do, one full jalapeno, half a tomato, and then another slice of onion for extra flavor. You don't, that, 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 that's super extra, just so you guys know. You don't really need to do all that. Um, I just do it just because I like the taste of all this random stuff. Um, in my meats, so. Oh, the dough has been sitting for 10 minutes, so. We'll stop that timer as we finish cutting these up. So, I'm gonna cut these up and we'll show you what we got to work with. All right, and just like that, we have our veggies ready to go. So, let's get you a little update. Um, we totally gave up on the tortilla bubbling because whatever. Um, the onions are sauteing nicely. I think we're about ready for the beans. Now we're gonna turn it down just a little bit though. Um, so you're gonna get the beans that you blended. Just pour them in. It's called frijoles licuado. I just wanna make sure they soak up that olive oil. And get a nice consistency. And give that a little stir every now and then. Next step, we're going to throw in some chorizo. Now this is not homemade as much as I wish it was. I just don't got it like that yet. So let's squeeze that hole in there. These are handy dandy wooden spoons. You don't have to look on all that. All right, ladies and gents, we are turning up the heat. Let us get this on now that we have Dump both of these in there. Shouldn't be too much longer before um, it's ready to go. Now, probably I'm just gonna throw this in now. I don't think it really matters, but throw in the veggies in there. Give it a nice stir so we can cook with the meat. Oh yeah. It smells a lot better now. And we're gonna let this whole cook a little bit. Beans turn up the heat. Well, you can see how they're really watery consistency. We want them to be a lot more viscous. So we turn up the heat and just kind of gonna let that cook there. Um, we're gonna let this cook here too as well. This first tortilla is still not done, believe it or not. We're gonna give it a flip though. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is there. To be honest with you. Next step, we're gonna have our handy dandy helper um, whisk up these eggs in a cup and afterwards we'll be able to dump it in there and let's cut to that so i'm doing about six eggs you can see here 
I'm also going to lightly salt it. And now I'm just gonna drink this. Games. Yeah. Oh yeah, I like that. You don't want it to burn, but like when it sticks just slightly to the pan, it breaks real easy. That's a good ass flavor right there. So now we got great consistency on the chorizo. This is some egg in there. Great source of protein. We got all my vitamins in there that I want. That's healthy. Um, beans are coming along very nicely. As you can see, the consistency is now starting to look more like actual beans. So these are gonna be great. We can actually just slow this down now. That's gonna come to a nice simmer. Feels good. So yeah, I'm just gonna make the rest of these tortillas and then we should be good to feast. Mm -hmm. Nice little free hole action. You know the vibes. Yeah. Queso fresco. If you know, you know, but only the Central Americans basically know. Put some protein. Hell yeah, guys. Now we just roll these hoes up. Nice. But, uh, I'm honestly probably just gonna talk over. We're just gonna talk over. And, uh, yeah, roll all these up. I mean, they aren't like the fattest tortillas, so whatever. Taste test, guys. Let's go do a taste test. What is an 8 out of 10? Absolute banger. It's not fair. So good. Guys, that meal was fire. We're just going to clean up now and make a little protein shake and get to bed because it's now late and I gotta edit this video. And I mean, hopefully it won't be too terribly long, but uh, you know, that was the thing. So, um, yeah. Thanks so much for tuning on in, everybody. As always, it's been real, it's been fun, but it hasn't been real fun. Catch you guys on the next one.